Hello guys! Our video today is a science reviewer for you grade 6 or incoming grade 7 students as preparation for your upcoming entrance or qualifying examinations as you enter high school. This reviewer is in multiple choice test format which consists of 10 items. You have 10 seconds to answer each question, but you may pause the video if you need more time to think. Then, there is an answer and explanation after each question. Don't forget to use paper and pen to jot down your answers. And please tell us your score after the quiz. Now, let's start! Number 1. The solidified lava of a volcano belongs to which rock family? The correct answer is letter A, igneous. The word igneous is derived from a Latin word ignus, meaning fire. Igneous rocks are known as primary rocks as they are formed through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. Thus, the solidified lava of a volcano is classified as igneous. Number 2. Which of the following process doesn't account for an increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide level? The correct answer is letter D, photosynthetic process. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create oxygen and energy in the form of sugar. Photosynthetic process do not contribute to the increase of carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere. In the contrary, it uses carbon dioxide as raw material Thus, it helps in reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Number 3. Which of the following objects is the best conductor of electricity? The correct answer is letter A, an iron nail. Metals are good conductors of electricity, like iron nails. Iron nails are metals and are good conductors of electricity, whereas non-metals are poor conductors, like wax crayons, plastic spoons, rubber eraser. They are all non-metals, and non-metals are poor conductor of electricity. Number 4. In the morning, a student observed a puddle of water on the playground. At the end of the day, the puddle was gone. Which process most likely caused the puddle to disappear? The correct answer is letter C, evaporation. Evaporation is a process of changing liquid to gas. When a puddle of water absorbs heat, the water evaporates or changes from liquid water to water vapor. Number 5. In order for an object to be classified as matter, it must have... The correct answer is letter A, mass and volume. 
Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Mass is the amount of matter in an object, and volume measures the space occupied by an object. Number 6. In Jack's bread mold experiment, he used the same brand of bread and sandwich bags. He placed the sealed bags in places that had varying temperatures. Temperature is the... The correct answer is letter D, independent variable. An independent variable is the factor in an experiment that the researcher manipulates or changes to observe its effect. It is considered as the cause or reason for an observed effect. In Jack's experiment, the factor that he changes in his setups is the temperature to observe its effect on mold. Number 7. On the figure below, which area marked is the crust of the earth? The answer is letter A. The area marked as A is the crust of the earth. It is the outermost layer of the earth. It is also the tiniest, about 5 to 25 miles thick, depending on its location. Number 8 question. Which of the following is most responsible for causing changing seasons on earth each year? The correct answer is letter D, tilt of Earth on its axis. The Earth's axis is tilted 23.5 degrees from the plane of its orbit around the Sun, which causes the changing seasons on Earth. When the Earth's axis points toward the Sun, it is summer for the Northern Hemisphere. When the Earth's axis points away, the Northern Hemisphere experiences winter. Number 9. A scientist is trying to track the movements of a rocket. What information does the scientist need to determine the velocity of the rocket? The correct answer is a lot of B, the speed of the rocket. And the direction of the rocket is moving. Velocity is the speed in the combination. Velocity is the speed in combination with the direction of motion of an object. So to track the velocity of an object, we need to determine its speed and direction. Number 10. Which is the best example of kinetic energy? The correct answer is letter B, a skydiver jumping from a plane. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion. Thus, an object with kinetic energy must be in motion. That ends our review today. How was your performance? Please don't forget to tell us your score. We hope this video has helped you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.